Welcome back to the finale of tonight's show. We're with Chef Sham Hanifa in the kitchen. Can you remind us what we're having, Sham? We're going to have a Thai style Panang curry. Panang okay. curry. Panang curry. So basically, it's similar enough to Thai red curry, but it's more nutty, sweet, and spicy. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's what the Panang does. Yeah, that's okay. Panang. Does, you know, so a lot of people call it Panang, Panang. You know, it's just. It's one of the famous dishes, you know? So oh, yeah. Thai, yeah. So basically what I use is any, a lot of Thai cooking, so they use a lot of uh, strong flavor. So strong, strong herbs, so we have lime, chili, you can use dry chili as well, um, ginger, garlic, and shallot. So we blitz it in together and turn into a paste. Like I said before, handy to have this paste in the fridge. This is the base of a lot of Thai or Malaysian cooking. Okay. Really? All this garlic, ginger, lemongrass, uh, galangal, all this blitz together. Okay. Have that in the jar, in the fridge. Whenever you want to cook it, it's ready to go. When I okay. came in today and I saw the lemongrass on the thing, I was like, Shams here, yay, lemongrass. <laughs> Love okay. lemongrass. And that will last how long in your fridge? Last, if you put a bit of oil on top of it, it'll last a week. You know, okay. it's raw, raw, it's treated like a raw vegetable. Great. So, yeah. Okay. So I have a bit of oil in there. Mix it in. So I have a fried off, all, a blitzed up all the vegetables, a bit of a cumin powder, a bit of coriander, all the recipes. And everything that's there, you can Google six eats yeah. for exactly how Sham made it. So very, very simple. The paste is the key. Put a little bit into it. And you fry it off the paste. And you can use this for Thai red curry. If you use green chili, you get a Thai green curry. Okay. You know, so this is splashing, you know, turn it down a bit. So basically what you do is basically just fry it off slowly. And then if you blitz them up, and you can put oil if you want, but ideally put water because it binds better, it blitz together okay. better. Okay. Right, so fry that off. And then I use pork pellet. Traditionally, they will use pork belly and slow cook them. Right. Take longer to cook. Okay. You know, you know, take longer to cook and much more flavor because the fat, of course, yeah. you know, this is slow. And you're like, we're on telly, we've got five minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seven. And there's two ways of making them. Quick stir fry, or you can do it really slow cook in a slow cooker or in the pots, you know? Okay. So we're gonna do a quick stir fry here. Fry it off that, turn down the heat. Now, there's no pan and curry without cafe lime leaf. Try to get a really green one. Okay. You can get a dry one, but green, fresh one is the key. You cannot get a fresh one, but it's just fresh frozen. Okay, what, what is that? Sorry. Cafe lime leaf. Cafe lime leaf. Yeah, so I chop it up really fine. Okay, fry it off that like that. Is that easy to get, Sean? Yeah, you can get Asian market, or you know, you can get... Uh, some people did try to grow them in polytunnel, you know? Okay. I, I need to get this in my... Back when I was in Malaysia, my grandmother used to grow them. It's like, of you course. know. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if you find it in your supermarket, don't go to Sh 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 He wants his. What's the key to But would you use that in a lot of your Malay and Thai cooking? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the key element. So that's the. And I put a bit of peanuts. That's what makes it panang. A bit of peanut. You can blitz them together with a paste if you want. But I always leave it out in case somebody that have allergies ah, yeah. to peanuts. Yeah, yeah. You know, same with fish okay. sauce as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fried up high heat here. And I put a bit of water. That will slow it down a little bit. Okay, so you have the spice in everything together. Now, you can use uh, salt if you want. I'm gonna use fish sauce. This is quick way of making them because we use pork fillet. Yeah. You can use chicken, beef, whatever you want to use it. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so of course, when you put something salty into it. Oh God, it smells amazing. Yeah. And then you use sugar. You can use, this is palm sugar. All right. Palm yeah. sugar? Palm sugar. So basically soap from the coconut tree. Yeah? Yeah. Where did you get that? Okay, Asian market. A Asian lot market. of Asian shops can get If you don't have brown sugar or damara sugar, use a palm sugar. You just grate it up, throw it in. Look at you go. Right. Yeah, there you go. It's just in a big hunk. Big I've hunk. You shave it before. off. Yeah, I just chop it up there earlier, which is nice. great. And it Would you prefer to cook with that than the brown sugar? Yeah, because it's, it's nice kind of caramelized flavor. What you yeah. do that is you get it from the tree, they put it in the wok, they cook them slowly, reduce it until it caramelizes and then keep in the block. That's what happens? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So it's like we use the white sugar here, we caramelize it to become yeah. the caramel, you know? That's what they did before it's set. So that's there like that. And well, of that course, has made a difference. You can smell that already. You can smell it. Yeah. You yeah. know, just like yeah. all the flavor. And you know, huge flavor, it work well. It create nice harmony flavor. That's what Thai cooking is about. You know, they yeah. use a lot of strong flavor. Bit of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Yeah, so you can beat that. Now, this is the time that you want to create the dish. In Ireland, we like curry a bit of creamy and saucy. You know, sometimes yeah. in Thai, they like dry. So whatever way you want it, there's no right or wrong making them. 
you know, so that's, we bring it to reduce a little bit. Now, we have cafe lime leaf, of course you need uh, lime juice. <laughs> you know, it's just sour, sweet, spicy, and I like to have it, now this is not in Penang style, but I like to have a bit of mint. Okay. Lift it up, so all the flavor going together, which yeah. is, I just shred it up a little bit into it. You know, and I have a bit of basil, you can get Thai basil. If not, just normal basil will be fine. Yeah. Reduce it down slowly. And then we have a bit of, of course, a bit of vegetables, you know. Okay. Aubergine. Aubergine. Yeah. Hey, do you know what? It's so good to have you back in studio because when you were cooking, we knew we were like, I bet you that smells of it. It does smell. <laughs> it does. So good. Sugar snap. We've got about yeah. a minute left, Champ. A minute left, fine, that's fine. So you reduce it nicely. Now, if let's say you make the paste, you don't want the paste too spicy. You should recipe say four chili. Yeah. Or four dry chili. Two chili or two red peppers. And that'll do okay. it. For you. Okay. Reduce okay. the heat Just a little reduce bit. It. Rather than try to go add more sugar, more salt, more sugar, more salt, you know, you're kind of panicking Just that. Just take you know. the chili yeah. out of exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. So we let that reduce away nicely, and I have, as usual, I always have, this is what I prepared earlier. Got one, Matt. Oh, yes, cool. we've got 20 seconds. It's all good. He's good to go. We'll get to see it. Yes, that's it. So this, the panang curry that I already heated up earlier, you have all cooked together. It's thickened nicely. Put in the bowl, oh, yeah, here, into the bowl nicely. And serve with nice jasmine rice. Oops. Sam, it looks absolutely That's amazing, special. and I can't believe we managed to get you away from Carrick and Shannon <laughs> on a day like today. Oh, I know. Carrick will be hopping at the moment. He's back working and cooking. It's so good to have you here. Can we please give it up for Chef Sham Hanifa? Thank you. Thank you.